see I got a nice little 360 camera there. Yeah, this is my Theta S. You keep saying my. Oh, yeah, it's mine. It's mine. Mine? Well, I might have bought it with school money, but I use mine. it the most. Mine. Yeah, we, we have used it quite a bit doing some 360s um, at some events in school. Mm -hmm. um, I recently had a field trip with my eight-year-old, yeah. my second grader. We went to Legoland, um, right? Went to Legoland in Boston, and I brought it with me yeah. just so that I could sh well. share the moments. Um, the idea was, you know, maybe you, I could share this out with all the kids and put it in the viewers, mm. do it in uh, maybe a Google expedition. Wait a second. I know you can do this and put it in the story spheres and near pods and things like that, but you just said you were going to create your own expedition. Yes. We as uh, trusted testers and top contributors were able to beta test the um, Tor Creator. That's yes. the official name of it. That is what they're calling it. Tor yes. Creator for Google Expeditions. Mm -hmm. And um, it was officially announced, released today. That's right. For beyond just the beta. May 9th. This is Google I.O. May 9th, Google I.O. Day 2. That's right. Um, two. Um, those. So we're going to uh, take a look at this. Now, I have signed in to this on my personal account. That's key. That's very key. Because mm -hmm. right now, it is not out to everyone's admin console yet to approve to, to That's have right. It hasn't pushed to all domains, but it is in your Gmail and personal it domain. Probably will take a little while to do that. So that's why right now I'm going to do this with my personal one. That way we can film this and we can get started. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So uh, I went to vr.google.com forward slash Tor Creator. Yes. That's the official site. Um, there are some other creative tools you can do in here. They are allowing you to actually use their poly uh, software, which you can create your own 3D images mm. and put them into That's a Tor. Cool too. And Tilt Brush, which that, is big. And Docs, which is getting all exciting. Animation, yeah. Yep. So let's get started here. So just so you know, if you click to get started right there in your school account as of today, May 9th, it'll probably come up with an error message saying your admin can't get started. You, you can't get need started to contact to your admin. Your admin. Yeah. And the admin can't do anything about it yet because it has not rolled out. So right. that's why, as Tom mentioned earlier, he is in his personal Gmail for yep. this reason. So I'm going to create a new tour. This Did tour. Did to take the van again out? Yeah. Did you see that? That was nice. Is that Richard Feynman's van? Yeah. <laughs> Little and field trip. So you can throw a cover photo in here. Uh, I'm going to select an image, and I'm going to select one that is intentionally not sized correctly. Oh, um, you rebel, you. And I will show you why in a second. You're so, going to get the eh. That's right. That's right. So I'm going to hit open so on this. Says when I hit open, down here in the corner, you can see cover photos must be at least 576 by 432 pixels. Mm -hmm. Easiest way to do this, open up Google Drawing. Yeah. Um, when you open up Google Drawing, I've already dropped the picture in there. If you go to File and Page Setup, right. change it to Custom and set your pixels. Yep. Okay. And go right to the minimum if you have to. Yep. That's what I did. I went right to the minimum. I dropped this in there. I hit Save. Now, when I go into here, I will click Select an Image, and I will click that Saved one I have, and bing, bang, boom, I can now see that image in there. Right. Which, which is key. Which you cropped very badly, but that's okay. It works. I we're we're just trying to get this working. I hear you. So we're gonna call this a uh, in a category. I would call this probably places and scenes. Um, I'm gonna hit click create. You forgot a description. That's it's right. Okay. It's okay. You can always go back to that. That's nice to know. So I'm gonna go through here, and you can see on the bottom now I have add scene. Add scene. Oh, that's end scene. I was going. Scene. Yeah. So I downloaded uh, about five pictures off of. By default, it brought me to Googleplex. We could 360 tour Googleplex and take. Mm. We can find if you add them into Street View. If you add them into Street View, we could search Legoland Boston. I think it's Summersworth, but sure. It's Legoland Discovery Center Boston, is what mm -hmm. it's called. And you can see which ones are there, mm -hmm. and you can select from ones that are already there. Oh. So if you already put yours into Street View, that's not cheating. No, that's not cheating. Okay. You can put yours into Street View, you can find them, and you can. Um, I just put them right into your so I could take from Kiwi there. Lover's picture right now. I wouldn't take Kiwi Lover's picture. I would make sure that you have uploaded your pictures that's, into Google Maps. Well, that's smart, right? With right. any school project. Yep. So I'm going to go to upload instead because I have them. I've taken them off the camera. I'm going to do select a 360 image. I'm going to start with, and do, 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 I have a zip file here with them. I'm going to start one from outside. I'm going to click open. And you can see in a second, there it is. Hey. That's, that's the photo. There's the bus. Uh, does it have it does have the yeah. bus we just got off of? Yep. And your thumb. <laughs> well, I was 
clicking on nah. there because I didn't have time to pull the phone out and do. So I clicked on add scene. Now it's going to want me to titles, and I'm going to say outside discovery center. So just so you know, with the Theta S2, I have this little tripod on it. Instead of having our thumb constantly click on it, you can download an app for your phone. And then that way, if I were to set this up somewhere else outside yep. and I can hide from the scene, I can take the picture from my phone to avoid the thumbnail. View. And I literally did that. Thumbnail view. So I'm going to select another image here. Oh, good. And I'm going to select one of the ones that I did exactly that. I placed it down. And you'll be able to see on this one that we actually can i'm Ooh, outside boston yeah. harbor here i actually placed it right on the podium and um pirates could have taken it pirates could have taken it i'm still in the photo unfortunately that but, is unfortunate so this is uh boston harbor oh you or, even went with the english spelling yep well isn't that a wicked googly so let's add another scene real quick um Let's choose another one that I did here. So open. uploading images seem pretty easy. You just, as long as it's a 360, you pull it from somewhere you're in. What about this location description credits and add points of interest? So this one, oh, there's Fenway. this was me holding it as well. So we'll say Fenway. Okay. So I've got a couple of scenes added in here. Yeah. I'm going to go back to say outside discovery center, for instance. Right. Mm -hmm. And we can go, okay, here's Legoland. I'm going to add a point of interest. Okay. You can see it gives this little eye here. Yep. So what I can do with this point of interest is I can drag that around anywhere on my 360 photo. Sure. Yep. If I but the, well played. <laughs> sorry. Well played. All right, I'll do it in the front door. <laughs> so I could then go back and select that other image that I had taken before, which is just a straight a 2D 2D photo, not 360. Right. And I'm going to drop that one in here. And then I can give it, I'll say add, and I can give it a full title, um, front oh, doors. Here, here. Nope. To, yeah. That's fine. So this is your pop-out image. So if I remember right, in, in, in expeditions, while the students are looking around, you could have clicked on one of the points of interest as a teacher, yep. the guide. Yep. They all follow the arrow, find that white thing, in, white target, and then this image would pop out at them so yep. they'd see a 2D overlay. Yep. I can resize it, make it really small if you want, make That'd it much silly. bigger. Um, you get... 30, you know, 50 characters to give the title and 300 characters to put your description in there of what you wanted to say. Perfect. Right? Oh, I like it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Actually. You could just put it in. It seems like a teacher or a student could do this. Yep. You could just put in questions as your points of interest. Um, mm -hmm. For instance, in uh, this point of interest I've got over here. Um, let's kind of move me around here a little bit on this point of interest and say. The building, <laughs> and you could in your point of interest, you could say what else is in this building, so that way you could then go through. You can move them up and down. Full description credits. That's really key. If you take someone's photo, please put credits in there. Sure. And that's it. That's quick and easy. I've got my expedition set. I would then, once I'm done with everything and I've got everything in there, I would click publish. When you get publish, uh, you get two options of visibility. One is public. That means anyone will be able to see this. Well, I would assume Google would have to vet it first yeah. before it becomes part of the app. Right, but I, ideally, once you do it, anyone would be able to see it. Unlisted would mean it would still probably be vetted to make sure that you have good things in there, yeah. but only specific people that would know to be able to search for it, where to go for it, would be able to see it. So if you wanted to take pictures of a community and you weren't necessarily thinking, I want to share this with the world, you could create a with Tor Creator, yep. a Google Expedition Unlisted, and show show it to the class. Absolutely. So kids could do this, have themselves in the pictures even. Yep. And you don't have to necessarily worry about the copyright and being public all the time. And that, my friends, is a quick way to do a, uh, a Google Expedition tour creator. I like it. Perfect. We're going to come out with a lot more of these once we get some more information. I'm be a about. tour guy. Let's do it. All right. Let's go guiding. All right. See you later. See ya.